Hello and welcome back to Good Game Nation where we bring you all things TCG. My name's Preston and today is the news. And uh, news is a little slow on the actual news part. Um, but we are going to be talking about all the cards that the, the Japanese Twitter has been releasing. Um, we are in full swing on EB01. And we're going to jump right on to what Twitter has posted this week. So let's jump into... The first card we have here. Shut up and come with us. Red event, one cost, drum kingdom, straw hat crew. Counter. Look at the top five cards of your deck and put up to one cost three or less animal type character into play. Then place the rest of the cards at the bottom of your deck. Normal search stuff. Okay, so red event that pulls animals is interesting, but it's a counter, so I feel like that's super weird. You're not really gaining any value for an attack. If you're able to hit an animal character, you can bring something out, but you're past the blocking phase. You couldn't like bring out a chopper blocker or anything like that. Um, Red does have quite a few animals with a few chopters and the duck squad and stuff, but we'll have to see what comes out to expand this card because right now it feels useless and there are pointless even um but i know as soon as there is an animal archetype uh, that works and has enough cards that this is usable um this is going to be really exciting for that deck being able to play a card is great um three or less is a good amount of cards that you can find um just in general so that's going to be nice. Um, I'm sure that we would like to see better searchers for, for anything because I feel like needing your opponent to attack is um, really reliant to actually get your engine moving. And then it's just, it could be better. Um, but we'll see what happens. Maybe the animal deck is going to be very reliant on your opponent attacking and then you can just do cool stuff so we'll have to see what happens next up we have scratch menapu green character one cost 1k power supernova on air pirates 2k counter on play rest up to one of your opponents cost two or less characters a 2k counter one cost it hits to anything that is two or less is really interesting um, I love that uh, Scratch Manapu gets really good cards. I feel like uh, his original Supernova card, Rest uh, Dawn, which is super nice, and is a 2k counter. This is another Scratch Man with 2k counter in green, and this one's hitting characters. This is a really interesting card if you go first. So on your 3 Dawn turn, you could hit their 2 cost character that they played, and then maybe KO it most likely. Um, this is really interesting um, in my opinion for a, an early game thing but also there's a lot of decks that play very low cost stuff uh, historically at least so being able to, to rest those late game when the board is full of them um, it'd be really nice to, to get rid of a couple extra cards this way be able to rest it and attack through it um, is really nice it's not a full KO so it it's not bad, but for one cost, this is great. And it has a 2k counter. I love it. Um, quite nice to see. Next up, we have Edward Weevil. Blue character, 4 cost, 6k power, 7 warlords of the sea. On play, draw a card. Ooh, pretty nice. Um, anything that draws a card is nice. Blue does this often, so this isn't unique. We'd have to look at everything in the 4-drop area to see if it's worth playing this card over other things. And then it's a Warlord, so you have to look at all of the Doflamingo uh, set 1 stuff. Does this card fit into that deck well? It seems like that's its purpose since it only has 7 Warlords. And is it worth it? 4 cost 6k seems really nice in my head when I'm thinking about stuff, but it could just miss and you might not need it in that deck that already goes through stuff pretty quickly with all of the peep and leader abilities although i am happy to see more warlord stuff coming um 
Again, we'll have to I, we'll have to build blue again. I know uh, Sam, our other co-host on the channel, uh, really liked Do Flamingo, so we'll have to see what he thinks about this and, and maybe build up a blue after EB01 comes out. Our next card. Miss Monday, purple character, free cost, 5k power, Baroque works. On play, if your leader type includes Baroque works, give up to one of your leader or character's 1000 power during this turn. Trigger, minus one dawn, play this card. So this is very Baroque works style, minus one on the trigger to do stuff. Uh, that helps your leader ability activate, and basically this card comes out for free if you're playing the purple yellow. Um, crocodile. Giving your leader 1k during this turn is also pretty nice. Uh, there's better cards that give you 1k power like the Eustace that will give it to you for the entire turn so that it makes your leader stronger on defense. Um, the way it's translated on the discord group that we use for all of our translations it doesn't say until the start of your next turn it just says during this turn. So it just is an offensive boost, which isn't bad, but it just depends on what you're playing. There are better cards that do something similar to this. Um, at 3 cost 5k, it's a, another good power range in my head, so that's pretty nice. Um, sits at the same place as the Rush uh, Zoro. So, could be playable and gives you an extra boost, so... Why not if you can get your leader to be attacking at 6k for, for this, that might be nice. But it's just an on play and that's all it does after that. So it, it kind of falls off after its first turn. And you can get your leader to 6k with one dawn instead of three. So same thing with all your characters. It, it does put a 5k body on the board. So there is that. I don't know. It, it kind of feels like it's awkward after that and there's stuff that can do this more often and better so we'll just I don't know kind of feels bad to me let me know in the comments what you think is Miss Monday bad seems bad um, just doesn't have the value overall that I feel like it needs to have compared to stuff that does this um, moving on to our next card Scarlet Black character, 2 cost, 0 power, Desroso, 1k counter. Activate main, you may trash this character. Play up to 1 Desroso type card other than Scarlet with a cost of 3 or less from your hand, rested. Then give up to uh, one of your opponent's characters minus 2 during this turn. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. You get to play a card and then minus 2. Um, Black loves doing lots of stuff on their cards. So if we think about what's in black in Desrosa, luckily the Rebecca that does a ton of things also is a four cost, so you can't bring it out. But you could bring this card out on Rebecca, so you could play Rebecca into this, into something else. And if you have enough minuses on the board, you could play into Kairos that KOs. So it is kind of crazy. At two cost, uh, fitting within a Rebecca chain would be pretty nasty. Um, and I believe we're playing Gecko Moria, the SR, from set 6 in Destrosa now because it interacts with the trash really nicely. And um, I believe you could do a bunch of crazy stuff with that. So, this card has a lot of good value and it's activate main so you get to use it once because you have to trash the character. Um, it has no other cost other than getting onto the board. So that's nice as well. I think this card is pretty good, and we'll have to see exactly the what we can do with it because there's so much that we can do at, at three costs. I was talking about two or less being a a good value uh, with Scratch Man, and then the three or less in the Animal Searcher. This is another three or less, so I think it has great value. A lot of options that you can hit with this card, and. Uh, they're giving Desrosa more support. It was a top deck at one point, even though it fell off. Um, yeah, that's super exciting. I think it's coming back too because Gecko Moria is disgusting. Moving on to our next card. 
Charlotte Flampe, yellow character, 1 cost, 1k power, Big Mom Pirates, 2k counter. On play, you may add 1 card from the top or bottom of your life to your hand. Draw 1 card. That's pretty cool. Um, I love cards that add stuff from your life to your hand and then do a thing. Um, that comes from Dragon Ball Super, where the Vegeta leader would add cards to your hand and then gain um, Banish, or what they called Critical. Um, and so anything that does that is a card that I'm a fan of. So yellow is really nice to do that. It will add stuff from your life and then give you some type of thing. Uh, the cost of adding a card to your hand is incredible because you are basically drawing two cards with this. You have a pretty good amount of things that you can do in yellow to regain life. I mean, you could play it now and do pretty well with regaining life. Um, but there's a lot of cards now that add stuff to the top of your life. So being able to just pick one and draw a card, this is a draw two for, for one cost, and that's pretty crazy in my opinion. Um, and it's a one cost so you can do it early to get that extra advantage, having two extra cards in your hand. Technically it's a, it's a plus one, because you have to play this card to get that ha to happen. But getting two new cards in your hand early on, off of a one cost, I think is really nicely. Since it fits into the Big Mom Pirates, Katakuri um, is a very, very good uh, leader that would probably use this in my head. In my head, this may be uh, a new staple for that deck. I would have to see what people are playing in set six for, for Katakuri, especially because there's so much else that is happening in it with Yamato being so good and there being Sakazuki and Gekko Moria. So there's a lot of things happening in set six, especially with all of the cards that we just got with the, the three brothers. So we have a lot going on in yellow and a lot going on in total. So we'll have to see if people actually pick this up. Currently, I think this is great and I think you should be playing them um, when they come out pretty nice. All right, moving on to our next card. All right, we have Logtown, two cost, blue stage, east blue type. Activate main, you may place this card and one card from your hand on the bottom of your deck in any order. Draw two cards. Trigger, play this card. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, east blue means, uh, I guess Nami wouldn't play this because it puts cards back to the bottom of your deck. You don't really want to do that. You don't really want to cycle two for two. But maybe a Nami evolves into being able to do something with this. But this seems like it more... It's weird because if it was a Nami card, you wouldn't be putting stuff to the bottom of your deck, but it is East Blue. If it's for something that's already come out, I don't know why it's in this set because I thought this set was mostly to expand what's already been there. But it's a blue event that can draw cards, which of course it is because it's blue. So we'll have to see how it goes. It's a, it's a stage. There's not very much stage removal in this game. Um, and there hasn't been a reason to run stage removal up until this point. Uh, at least in the West, we got rid of the most annoying one with Moby Dick, so we won't have to worry about uh, stages for a while. But maybe this will come back. Drawing two is nice. I just said drawing is a good a good thing. So being able to to play to play this, move cards out of your hand that you don't need, and draw two is nice. Um, we see Sakazuki move cards through his hand all the time, dropping one into your trash to draw. So it's not bad, it's just a stage, so it kind of feels awkward. Especially because we don't really play stages in this game, even though there's quite a few at this point. Let's move on to our last few cards that were leaked in a magazine. Um, let's see what they are. All right, the first one here. This is the cover card, I believe. Tony Tony Chopper, red character, 3 cost, 4k power, animal, straw hat crew, 1k counter. Blocker, dawn times 2, when attacking, give up to one of your opponent's characters, minus 3k power during this turn. So it's a, a blocker that has to attack to get its ability, which is interesting. Um, 
which means you can't do both things if you want unless there's something to restand him um, maybe in the animal archetype since it does have the animal type um, overall really cute we love Tony Tony Chopper his cards are always going to be adorable um, the fact that his effect contradicts himself makes me think that it probably won't get played unless there's a, a reason to be playing a three cost blocker uh, right now I would just play the the original chopper blocker and not worry about this guy but minus 3k power is nice red loves that stuff so we'll have to see um, where it goes in general because I, I feel like this card kind of is a miss for me right now all right up next okay Mino Chihuahua purple character four cost 5k power impel down jailer beast rush on KO, if your leader has Impel Down type, add up to one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and rest it. So, like many of the, the Jailer Beast, this is a uh, ramp on KO. I believe most of them do that, if not all of them. But it has Rush, so it is asking to be KO'd much, unlike most of them, which I think when you see it, you're not going to probably KO until it's too late. Uh, for your opponent to gain the um, the advantage, but being at four cost five k, uh, with a potential ramp, I think this is pretty cool. Plus, look at him. I want to play this card. He's so cute. Um, including rush is nice. A four drop with five k rush is around the the Zoro rush stuff. So a little bit different, but still pretty nice. Um, I love ramp stuff. I hate that impel down all says it has to be impel down leader because it, up to this point, people haven't really wanted to play Magellan. Maybe we'll play Hannibal and that will make everything different. But we got a couple more cards to, to review, so let's keep moving. The next card is Brunk Freed, black character, one cost, one K power, CP nine, one K counter. Activate main. You may rest this character. Give up to one of your spandom characters plus 3k power during this turn. So this is spandom sword. Um, I believe it's an elephant zoan. Uh, very cool concept. Uh, the spandoms so far. I don't know if this is any help to them, but it's very cute and we'll have to see what happens with it and I most likely would see this not being played because uh, Navy decks and CP decks are much more efficient without spandom. I believe there is no spandom being played. It's all of brand new searching Navy and the CP9 stuff really isn't um, present for, for searching and, and being efficient at least. So, I don't think it gets played, but maybe you will prove me wrong. Let me know. All right, last character. Laboon, black character, two cost, 4k power, animal. Once per turn, when a character is KO'd, draw one card and trash one card from your hand. All right, we got a, we got a baby Laboon, and we can see a fleshy brook in the background as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, again, Laboon reunited with Brooke. It's really cool. Um, draw one, trash one is a great effect. If I see this on the board, I'm doing everything I can to KO it before it can get its effect. It's, uh, really nice. Like I said, I've been saying drawing cards is good. Um, even if you have to get rid of one from your hand, uh, it seems like Black doesn't really care about that too much. And this could see play in quite a few black decks in my head. So with that animal type, maybe we get a red black uh, uh, leader that would be able to play this. That would be really nice in an animal deck. Um, but overall, I think this card is good. I can't wait to see it played because it's adorable. And I hope it gets a great alt. It won't, but I hope it does at some point get a, another artwork. Because I believe Laboon is deserving of that. All right, and that does it. That was a jam-packed episode. We got 
seven cards revealed officially, and I think four cards revealed from a leak from this magazine. So there was a ton of things to talk about, and uh, it will make future videos lighter when these uh, leaked cards get revealed uh, officially. So I hope you all hung in there until this point, and if you did, make sure you give us a like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, peace.